Welcome back to another video. If you're new to the channel, I'm Rio. As you can see in today's video, I have my entire boot collection. Of course, this is a time of year where a lot of you, including myself, will be wearing boots. And of course, given that it's boot season, I figured I'll pull out every single pair of boots that I own and feature them all in one video. And to be honest with you guys, I really had no clue how many pairs were in my collection, but by pulling them out, I have learned that I have 25 pair of boots. All of these boots ranging in different styles, different brands, different models, you know, you name it. I have a decent range and a decent selection. So what I'm gonna be doing is basically categorizing them into their own sections, if that makes sense. Like for instance, Chelsea boots would be its own category and then so on and so forth. From your casual slash dress casual to the more street aesthetic. So with that being said, we're gonna get started with the Chelsea boots. First up, this pair I have here is a crepe sole pair of Chelsea boots from the brand Walk London. So some of you may be familiar with this brand, some of you may not be. These pair in particular, I actually picked up from ASOS a few years ago. Uh, however, the company Walk London do have their own website. And as the name shares the connection to the location, of course, this brand is out of London. What I like about Walk London in general is that the products are of nice quality and they are extremely affordable. The price point that they have their products at, you may think or assume that you may not be getting a quality product. It can go that way sometimes. As the saying goes, you get what you pay for. But I have been thoroughly surprised with these boots and I don't think I've paid over $100 for them. So if you're not familiar with Walk London, check them out. Next up, we have probably my oldest pair of Chelsea boots, my first pair of Chelsea boots I believe that I've ever bought. Now these are gonna be the Topman Chelsea boots and the tan colorway. I purchased these, I believe back in like 2016 or so, but what I like most about these is that they kind of gave me that YSL aesthetic with the Chelsea's. That's kind of what I liked about them. As far as quality though, I would say that the Walk London may be slightly a bit higher in quality. However, these I didn't pay over hundred bucks if I remember correctly as well, but they are a nice affordable pair. I do plan to purchase a pair very similar to this, also the same colorway, in a much higher quality and then eventually get rid of these being that these were my entry level into Chelsea boots. As we get a little bit darker in the color, we have here another suede pair, and these are gonna be in dark brown. These are by the brand Ankari Flores. If you guys aren't familiar, that is a company owned by Marcel Flores, the creator of the One Dapper Street YouTube channel, and I believe also his friend slash business partner. These are a pair of Chelsea that of course I saw Marcel wearing, and I just love the, the aesthetic really, the silhouette, nice and slim of course the color nice rich dark brown the suede material is very nice you know i've talked about it in the past when you have that suede that pretty much changes the colors when you rub on it these definitely do that and it's just a really nice look a really nice aesthetic so these would be my dark brown suede chelsea boots next up we have my dark brown leather chelsea boots and these are going to be by new republic and these are going to be new republic's ventura chelsea's in chocolate unfortunately these are no longer available and i wish they were because they are a really nice aesthetic looking chelsea boots if you saw my fall lookbook i was wearing these in look one and what i like most about them is that just the overall slim you'll probably hear me saying this a lot but I love a slim profile, especially in a Chelsea boot or just in a boot in general and with a lot of footwear. They're just a really nice pair of dark brown leather Chelsea boots. And for that reason, they're a pair that I had to have in my collection. And of course, if I had them in brown, I had to get them in black. So these are the same exact New Republic Ventura Chelsea boots in black leather. For all the same reasons that I mentioned with the dark brown, I had to have them for the black. Holding these side by side, these are the brown, which are the chocolate, and these are the black. You can tell that they are similar in color. However, when you're wearing these, you can definitely tell that they are brown versus the black pair. I have one more pair of Chelsea boots that I'm gonna showcase. As far as my leather Chelsea boots, I do want to get some other brown options in leather. I feel like the dark brown being the only brown that I have in leather, there's some others that I can utilize and also of course to wear. My next Chelsea boot is gonna be another black leather pair. Now these are gonna be a much higher quality pair of Chelsea boots. For that reason, they're gonna be a little more on the expensive side. Now these are by the Italian brand Scaroso, if I'm saying that correctly. There's probably like a, a roll in the, in a Scaroso. I, that's my attempt. This is a brand I learned about sometime last year. These Chelsea boots are 
like $350. However, I just wanted to have a really nice quality pair of black leather Chelsea boots, as well as the last ones I showed you. By comparing the two, these are almost a little more matte than these. I don't know if you're able to pick that up on the camera. These also do have a little more of a aggressive, aggressive shape. I don't know if that makes any sense, but that's kind of how I feel when I put them on. They kind of have a little more of a casual look to them, but these black Chelsea boots by Scoroso is gonna be their Enzo Nero. If any of these are available at all, I will try to link them down below in the description section for you. Of course, some of these I've had in my collection for quite a while, they may not be available, but for whatever is available, I will drop it down below for you guys. Next, we're gonna be looking at my strap boots. Three pair of those, so let's hop right into it. All three strap boots are gonna be by the brand Collar Clothing. For those of you who are not familiar, they're a luxury streetwear brand based out of Toronto, Canada. I've done some collaborations with them in the past and all three of these boots are what I acquired from working with them. First up, we have this pair right here. And of course they're called strap boots because they have the straps around the ankles. And these are gonna be the tan suede strap boots. Unfortunately, these are not available. I absolutely love the color and the overall aesthetic of these boots. They look great on foot, very stylish. Of course you can wear them with a lot of different looks, a lot of different outfits. A color like this is definitely essential. And then I have them in the black suede. Now these are the pair that I own the longest and have worn the most. I've had these, I believe since 2019, if I'm not mistaken. Really nice aesthetic. Of course, they're the same exact model as the tan pair. We just have them in black suede. I'm sure you guys know black suede boots are a wardrobe staple, at least in my opinion, and you can wear these with virtually anything. The same style of boots also, of course, by Collar Clothing, and these are gonna be the same strap boots, but of course, these are in black leather. Of course, all details being the same, we have the side zips here, YKK zips. Super, super classy, super classic, just a really nice look. Like I mentioned before with other ones, just that overall slim aesthetic is something that I definitely, definitely like out of boots, and these do provide that. Just to recap, we have the tan suede, the black suede, and the black leather, all by Collar Clothing. And again, these were the strap boots. The next category that we're gonna be walking into is going to be my Cuban heel boots. Now for these, I only have a couple. However, these two that I had, if I must say so myself, they are just beautiful. Here we have my only pair of harness boots, and these are gonna be by the brand From The First. For those of you that may be familiar, you may be aware of the fact that these are a very, very, very expensive pair of boots. These boots are over $500. Trust me, I didn't enjoy paying that price for them. However, if you're in the fashion, in the style, that look and that aesthetic, they took inspiration for these boots from the YSL harness boots from like 2016, that era. That style of boot is like a very sought after pair of harness boots. They took that aesthetic and just made their own. Instead of paying 1100, 1200, if not more in the resale market, you can get a pair from, from the first. The harness details, side zip and YKK zips. And of course these zips are exposed. I love exposed zips. If you can't tell by the strap boots, I just love exposed zips. I think they, they give an added detail. I mean, there's nothing wrong with concealed zips, but I think the exposed zips just add to more detail of the boot. If you know me, you know I'm one for details. So I personally can't skimp on that added detail. The next pair is another pair from From The First. Now essentially these are the same boots just without the harness. Again, they're about $500. So, you know, maybe how necessary was it, but I like them. And these are gonna be their Luca model, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Similar style, of course, they have the 40 millimeter heel. Really everything is really the same just without the harness. We have the side zips there, YKK zips, holding them side by side you can see that they're really the same pair of boots. One just has a harness and then one doesn't. Of course, one can go with the style that does have a removable harness. I guess that could be a good way to go. I like them both, so you know, I definitely added both of them to the collection. This model is the Enzo and this model is the Luca. I think the brand does have both of them available. This video is not sponsored, by the way. Some of the boots I may have been gifted, but I will tell you if I was but no brand is sponsoring this video or paying me to talk about these boots. Just a heads up. Now I'm gonna show you my wingtip boots. I only have one pair, so let's hop right into them. The only wingtip boots that I own is gonna be these from Johnson & Murphy. These are gonna be Johnson & Murphy's XC Flex boots and their Cody model. I definitely do love the aesthetic of these. They are extremely comfortable. I love the outsole of the overall look. 
As you can see, they are in a brown leather color. They do have a YKK side zip as well, which allows for you to easily put the boot on and take them off. And these are gonna be a really nice dress casual pair of boots. I definitely love wing tips and I don't have any other wing tip boots aside from these. However, there are some others that I feel like I may want to look after. A black pair for sure. And I think another brown pair, and that's a little more on the dress side of things, opposed to being more of a casual, if that makes any sense. On to boot 13, and these are gonna be my only pair of chucka boots. These are gonna be by Bostonian. These were done in collaboration with the brand Commonwealth, which I don't really hear too much about these days. I'm sure they're probably doing their thing. I just, you know, they're not really on the radar for me. The model of these are gonna be called Desmond Mids, and this color is gonna be in Cola Suede. I think these might be available. If they are, of course, you know, I'll link them down below for you guys. I honestly don't know if I'll buy any more because chuckas are kind of like hit and miss. I do wear them, I do find wear out of them. They aren't the first style of boots that I usually go towards if that makes sense. However, they definitely do have their place in my wardrobe, so I hold on to them for that reason. My first and only pair of hiking boots are gonna be these right here by Danner. If you guys also saw the fall uh, lookbook, I wore these, and was that look three, if I'm not mistaken? Usually, if I'm attempting to purchase a new style or trying something new, I don't go as expensive as I went with these. I usually go affordable, wear them, make sure they fit my style, make sure I like them, make sure they fit the aesthetic that I'm trying to go for. And once I feel like I like the look and like the style and want to make it a part of my wardrobe, I then will go up in quality and price. But something about these just made me just go for it. These are a pair of $400 boots. As you can see, you know, a lot of the boots that I have here, or some of them rather, you know, they are up in price and as well as these. I never had heard of the brand before, so I don't know what it was that made me say like, I'm getting those. And I bought these earlier this year, and I know a lot of you may be watching this video in 2022. So for that reason, I bought them last year, April of 2021, April or May. I'm not entirely sure, but I got them somewhere towards the spring slash summer in 2021. They were just a pair of boots that I saw and I just, I just cannot, I, I cannot pass on them. These are Danner's Mountain Light hiking boots with Gore-Tex. Of course, a lot of these boots will be for style, but of course, some of them serves function. And these are one of the boots that definitely, definitely serves function. These are a true pair of hiking boots. For that reason, I think they're definitely a good pair to have. Let me know down below if there's any other hiking boots that you guys would recommend, any of the brands out there that I'm not aware of, not familiar with. Let me know, drop the comments down below. The style we're gonna be looking at right now is gonna be the Ranger boots. So for boot 15, we have Ralph Lauren Ranger boots and suede in the tan suede for that matter. These are definitely some of my favorite boots. I've had these as well as the next two pairs because you know, once you got one color, you gotta get a few other colors. So the next two pair are also gonna be Polo Ralph Lauren Ranger boots. Not something I wear as often, but something that I keep because they definitely do have a place in my wardrobe. Same boots as you can see, but these are gonna be the dark brown suede, which the colorway I believe they call them is brandy just like the tan pair tried and true had these for man i've had these for a very long time i definitely do pull each one of these out at least some point every single year and most of the time is somewhere around this time of year sometime in december january you know that in winter fall winter i definitely find a way to pull these out ralph Lauren, as i said in many many times is definitely one of my favorite brands so for that reason i took a liking to the ranger boots many years ago, don't really see myself letting them go, at least not anytime soon. These are by far my favorite pair of Ranger boots by Ralph Lauren. Out of all three Ranger boots that I just showed you, these are the pair that I wear the most. I've had these boots at least for 10 years and they unfortunately are starting to fall apart. One of these boots, I forgot which one it was. I was wearing these, I think last winter, I took them off and I realized that the sole, yeah, this one right here, the sole is starting to kind of break right down here, starting to crack a little bit. And I don't know what that's about because they don't make these boots anymore. I don't know if there's something I can have repaired, possibly, hopefully. You would never be able to tell that these were 10 years old and I've worn them as much as I have because you can't tell. I'm a little particular and meticulous with stuff and I like to take care of things that I own. Anything that I own, even material or not, it's if it's mine, I'm gonna take care of it. That's the kind of way that I am. 
So I could have something for like 15, 20 years. You would never know because I always make sure I take care of it. So that's just a tip for people out there, you know, always take care of your stuff because it can last you for an extremely long time if it's well cared for. Love these boots and I'm hoping I can repair them. Sticking with the similar shape slash silhouette just without the strap, so they're not Ranger boots. These would be more in the category of mock toe boots and these are going to be by Timberland. These are probably my newest addition. I actually got these two to three months ago and I got these through a collaboration I did through DSW. So these were gifted to me. So just a heads up, these were gifted. The collar clothing boots were gifted. And um, what else was gifted to me? I think that's it. I'm looking down because the boots are down here on the floor. But I think out of all of these boots, just these and just the collar clothing boots, all of the other ones featured in this video, I paid for with my own money, just a heads up. These boots are gonna be Timberland's Redwood Fall. I think it's the model of the boots, not entirely sure. And as you can see, they're in dark brown. They, I don't know what it is about them, but they kind of give me like a Red Wing slash Lugs kind of vibe. I don't know if that was like an inspiration type thing. I don't know how long Timberland's had this model of boots in their product line. Not entirely sure, but I just got them again a few months ago. I've worn them at least a time or two, so uh, at least there's that. I'm glad I was able to have these. Let's move on to the next one. Next up, I have a pair of combat boots. These are gonna be my one and only true pair of combat boots. These were also worn in my fall lookbook I believe in outfit number two. If you guys haven't seen my fall lookbook, feel free to check that out. These are gonna be by the brand All Saints. They're a pretty penny. These boots, I believe were also about 400 if I'm not mistaken. As you can see, I definitely did invest some money into this collection. What I like most about these, as well as I've mentioned this in a lot of these boots, and that's just kind of what I look for in footwear in general is the aesthetic. What does the silhouette look like? Do they have a slim profile? Would they fit with, you know, my style, what I like to wear, or how I like to wear boots or wear footwear in general. But you can see these have a really nice slim aesthetic to them. Really minimal as well. Um, they're not doing too much. They just, they have a, they just have a really attractive look in my opinion. These are gonna be All Saints Tobias black leather boots, which of course have that combat style to them. I do believe these are still available, so I will link them down below for you guys. So if you are interested, you can grab a pair. But anyway, that's my one and only pair of combat boots. Let's move on to the next pair. We're getting down to the wire here with the boots. We have about six left. Through what you've seen so far, let me know if there's some colors that you feel like I'm missing as each style of boot. As far as like my Chelsea's, I know my Chelsea boots I have a decent collection of those, but I'm missing some fun colors, some grays, maybe something like a navy suede or like, I just, I feel like there could be some funner colors or more fun. You know what I'm trying to say. I can have some colors I can have a little more fun with uh, stylistically. So as far as that, I think the Chelsea boots can use a little more work, but let me know what you guys think down below. Also, there's some brands that I should know about. Let me know down below. I believe this boot model also does belong or could be in the combat category, but I'm not entirely sure. But let me know your opinion. Dr. Martens or Doc Martens 1460 in the black Napa. I think, especially in black, they could fall within the combat boot category. As some of you know, I got into Doc Martens last year, since we're approaching another year in 2021. I actually made a video, Timberlands versus Doc Martens. If you haven't seen that, check it out right up here. I just always thought that Doc Martin just wasn't for me. I just thought they had that that grunge kind of like reputation or that punk reputation. And for that reason, I was like, nah, those ain't for me. But as I grow and as I look at style a little bit different, and as I also start to take more risks and be a little more creative and a little more free with things that I choose to wear or try to wear, Doc Martens were definitely one of those things that I was like, you know what, let me try those out. So I got these in black, of course, as you can see. I definitely love the contrasting stitch, the yellow stitch uh, down in the midsole. I definitely think it gives it a unique look, a nice touch. And of course, the tall pull tab with the yellow accents on it. For that reason, the black pair definitely could fall in the combat category. If I put these two side by side, they definitely do look very similar, but they are different with this one being a all black, more of like a true combat style. And this one having, you know, the contrasting yellow stitch, the outsole is not pure black. They're different, similar, but different. And next up we have the Doc Martens 1460 in the Crazy Horse. So these are gonna be the brown colorway with the tan laces, the yellow contrasting midsole. I don't know if these fall under combat. I don't, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think 
down below. I'm not entirely sure what to call this category. Maybe I should just call it the Doc Martens category. I don't know if they're combat, but again, let me know what you think down below. Lastly, for the Doc Martens, I have the 1460 and the Pascal Classic Coat. As you can see, these are gonna be more like a burnt red or reddish color, flat wax laces. The other two had rope laces, which are more like a boot laces rather. And with these being flat wax laces, much longer, works great for a wrap around the ankle. Since I've had them though, I think I've only worn them once, if I'm not mistaken. If I'm thinking correctly, I wore these in my 2021 winter lookbook. You can check that out right up here. Pretty soon I'm gonna be filming my 2022 winter lookbook. So you'll definitely probably be seeing some of these boots in that lookbook, so be looking forward to that. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. This is a fashion style and lifestyle channel, so hope you guys enjoy the video. Hope you check out some of my other content and definitely subscribe to watch more. Also, turn your notifications so whenever I drop a video, you will be notified. The winter lookbook will be coming, of course, sometime in the next couple months. So be on the lookout for that. Almost at the end here. So I have three more pair of boots to go over with you guys. The three remaining I'm gonna just tell you because I'm not entirely sure what the category would be, but the remaining three boots are gonna be Timberlands. I know some of you are wondering, when is he gonna show some Timberlands because he has to have Timberlands. Three Timberlands left. You guys may have an idea what they are. So let's hop right into them. First up, we have the premium six inch in the black new book. These things have seen better days. I didn't realize uh, how badly I needed a new pair. Well, I don't need a new pair, but you know, when they get this worn in, sometimes you may want to get a new pair. At some point, I may get a new pair. I mean, you guys know, yeah, yeah as I already said, you gotta have a pair of Timberlands. The black pair are definitely a must have. The black new buck, you can't go wrong with them. Virtually wear these things with anything. This time of year, when the snow's out there, I'm sure a lot of you are definitely reaching for a pair as well. Then we have this pair, premium six inch, in the Hazel Highway. I think I got that correctly. I've had these for quite some time now. If I remember correctly, I think I got these in 2014. What gravitated me towards these boots in particular, around that time, I think it was, was it Pharrell? He would wear these brown boots that had red laces in them. So when I got these, I immediately took out these laces and put in red flat laces. And that was like a cool aesthetic at the time. But aside from that, the colorway is very similar to the 40 Below Timberland boots. Some of you may already know what I'm talking about. It's the style slash model of boots that Tupac wore in Juice. That's the colorway of these. Now, this isn't the 40 Below Timberlands. These are, of course, the premium six inch, but the colorway is virtually the same. The 40 Below are a little bit taller and they have a slightly different style, stylized back. Some of the uh, stitch paneling is like, it's a little bit in different places. If you know, you know. I just love the look. I just love this nice rich brown color with these tan laces. It's a very dope contrasting look. For that reason, you know, I've had them for as long as I have and won't be replacing them because these, I don't believe you can buy anymore at all. So I'm glad to have these. And of course we had to finish the video off with the ever so classic, the six inch premium wheat Timberlands. If you guys want some ideas on how to style Timberlands, I did a video last year styling all three of these Timberlands actually. So feel free to check that out. I'll link it right up here. So check out that video. I think these boots have essentially transcended boot culture. So many different people in different walks of life wear these boots. You'll see them everywhere. Being a part of the hip hop culture, these boots are, as I already mentioned, a must have. I've had these particular boots I don't know, probably it's like 2015, 2016. Usually when I buy a pair and I wear them for a long time, I get another pair. I've been able to sustain these for quite a while. I've been able to keep these looking pretty fresh and pretty good. So, you know, I think I'm gonna rock with these for some time. But there you guys go. That was 25 pairs of boots, every single pair of boots that I own in my collection. Let me know what you guys think about the collection. If there's something you feel like I probably should have and don't, let me know down below. If there's some brands you feel like I should have and don't, let me know down below. If there's some colorways that you feel like I should have and I don't, let me know down below. If you're interested in see how I style and wear some of these boots, follow me over on Instagram for some style and fashion inspiration. Subscribe if you're new to the channel for some more fashion and lifestyle videos. Click the bell to make sure you're notified whenever I drop a new video. That does it for me. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully you enjoyed the boot collection. Thanks for watching. Let me catch you guys on the next one. Peace.